they're, they hear us. You can already, they're already starting to chatter up there. They, they, they can hear us coming. My name is J.D. Klepfer. I'm a wildlife diversity biologist with the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries. This is a roost of the state endangered Rafineski's big-eared bat. Uh, Virginia, southeastern Virginia, is at the northern uh, limit of their range. And this is property is actually owned by the Department of Game and Fish, and we actually actively manage it for uh, bats. We've lost a lot of their habitat because of historic uh, logging practices, swamp logging. They've cut a lot of large, old cypress trees, and that's where they historically would have roosted. But now, for their summertime roost, that we almost we exclusively only find them now in old barns and sheds. And this building's probably going on well over 150 years old. It comes to bats uh, and snakes are alike, or that uh, there's more misinformation out there than fact. They've been demonized and hot by Hollywood, and like I said, there's a lot of misinformation as to their, as to them as being a threat to humans. Uh, obviously, there is a rabies issue associated with some species, but uh, it's very minimal. Uh, there's more threats from two-legged mammals than there are from these winged mammals. They're incredible pest uh, insect controllers. Uh, these are, like I said earlier, were moth specialists. But some species of bats, literally an individual bat will eat hundreds of mosquitoes every night. Now this is a good example of uh, another Rafineski Big Eared Bat Roost, typical old building. Uh, we were on the property of Mr. Bill Owens, who's probably one of the quintessential land conservationists uh, that you run into. It was in a little bit of disarray and falling apart and chance of losing it in the next big storm. And, and because he was in a conservation easement, we were able to come up with some funding to help him restore this building and, act and have it actually managed for the bats. We have about, probably about 30 or 40 bats in here. This is another maternal rookery. And a few young bats. Obviously, they're with pups. See those two smaller ones? They're hanging right on top of mom. Those two small bats that are on the end and that big one on the bottom. See mom's got her two pups hanging on her. Bats are just like any other mammal. Uh, they do uh, nurse their young. And uh, there's an example of a, right there on the end of a large adult female with a couple of pups right beside her. You know, I think as uh, as, as, as anybody grew up and, uh, you know, as a young kid or whatever, going out to the street light and watching bats swooping down, catching bugs, and uh, there's something just, just part of our uh, legacy in Virginia that, you know, I can remember going out to street lights as a little kid, tossing rocks up and watching the bats chase the rocks down, and you know, there's just something else that's just another piece of the puzzle for, for what makes Virginia great as a uh, natural history.